Good morning. Welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Rez11. And you can find me on Twitter at Rez11 Grinds. Gonna take a look at some pitching for today, Sunday the 11th. We have a 10 game main slate on DK. Uh, I assume FanDuel is basically the same. I'm not sure if they're gonna include this Houston and Cleveland game. Uh, that starts at 11.40 Central. But let's take a look. At the top, we have Kevin Gausman taking on a Twins team that is striking out plenty. Uh, Gausman, obviously elite, leading the American League in strikeouts, throwing a ton of pitches every start, uh, coming off of back-to-back -back just spectacular performances, uh, shut down Minnesota in Minnesota, uh, despite having five walks, which is a bit of an outlier for him. But... Uh, there's just no arguing. He's, he's the top option on this slate. Absolutely dominant at home. Uh, very little needs to be said. I think he is a minus 210 favorite right now. So, uh, clear cut number one option for me today. Uh, McClanahan against Texas. This one's a little tricky. Uh, I might have to go the fade route at 11.2. Uh, which is really tough for me to do, considering he's one of my favorite pitchers in all of baseball. But I'm just not really sure I want to pick on the Texas squad right now that's scoring just a ton of runs. It's just a tough one. Um, I mean, I do think I'd take him over Mitch Keller. Keller right now is going through some struggles after his pretty strong run. Um few bad starts in a row here, taking on a Met squad that it's really Jekyll or Hyde uh, type performances, but right now I'm going to be off of Mitch Keller uh, until he turns it back around, and I'm not sure that today is that day. Bryce Elder, uh, very solid option, has struggled more at home, giving up a bunch of home runs, well, six of them in seven starts, so I guess it's not that that much, um, but it is compared to zero in his five road starts. So, um, taking on a Washington squad that's pretty, pretty weak, obviously. Uh, he's a minus 285 favorite right now. So, uh, that tells you pretty much all you need to know. It's going to be pretty popular in cash games, uh, I do believe. Uh, Lucas Giolito, somebody I really just don't like rostering, but, uh, He's been dominant at home, coming off of a strong performance, takes on a, a weak Miami squad, uh, just a minus 135 favorite, which is a little shocking. There is some potential weather in Chicago, but I don't believe it's going to affect the game much at all. Uh, so Julia Lito is going to make my pool. Going to be off of Shane Bieber again. Uh, I know he was solid against Boston, but again, as I mentioned, every time uh, that he's on a slate, where have the strikeouts gone? I Until I start seeing, you know, a number of strikeouts, I'm just not going to go there. Uh, he's made 13 starts, and he has four or less strikeouts in 11 of those. Uh, obviously, been strong at home, but the strikeout numbers aren't there, and they are kind of important. Add in that Houston is not a, a cakewalk of a matchup. And I will gladly uh, fade Shane Bieber today. Freddy Peralta, uh, great upside. Can obviously make mistakes and struggle. We've seen him struggle three out of his last five starts. Uh, taking on an Oakland squad that's won four straight. But overall, the Oakland lineup is the weakest in baseball. Uh, so I am going to go with Freddy Peralta. I'm not going to be too afraid. Uh, Definitely much stronger at home on the season, and I believe his career numbers are pretty much the same. He's just a different pitcher when he gets to pitch at home. Uh, Braxton Garrett, I am in interested. Um, not as much as I have been, but uh, you know the game does have an eight and a half total. Like I mentioned, Miami is just a minus one thirty five, or the White Sox are just minus one thirty five in this matchup. So uh, close enough. I think Garrett 
is going to make my player pool uh, at just 8,200. Hunter Green against a somewhat struggling St. Louis squad. Green's been ridiculous on the road. Uh, 58 strikeouts in 37 and two-thirds innings. Uh, numbers are extremely strong. Home runs can always bite him, but um, I am going to side with him. Love the upside at that price point. Uh, Stephen now Kyle Gibson, good chance he ends up in my player pool. Uh, struggled in the first inning against Milwaukee and then shut him down after that. Uh, racked up some strikeouts. He did get lit up by Kansas City earlier this year, but uh, he's been much stronger at home. I'm going to be interested in Gibson. He is a minus 180 favorite as of right now. J.P. Sears intrigues me because he's a left-handed pitcher taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. He's been pretty solid um, for much of the season now, so I have no problems going to him. I just don't know if he has the upside, you know, of, well, I know he doesn't have the upside of a Hunter Green who's only 400 more. So, uh, but J.P. Sears definitely in play for me. Brandon Belak, very interested just because he's taking on a weak, Cleveland offense uh, hasn't been super sharp in two of his last three starts, but uh, I think he's been pretty solid overall, and the opponent just doesn't scare me. His whip is a little worrisome. He's a slight underdog as Cleveland is a minus 140 favorite in this game. Uh, kind of looking at the rest, I'm not really interested in anything else. Um, Maybe uh, Nick Robertson down here. Uh, kind of have to dig into some more of his minor league numbers just to see. Uh, projected long reliever. But is he going to pitch more than two or three innings? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, if there's a chance that he could pitch four, uh, then I am I become pretty interested uh, because I do expect the Dodgers to win this game as they – uh, I don't even see a Vegas line right now, but um, taking on Taiwan Walker, I do expect the Dodgers offense to score some runs. So, uh, you know, if we can if we can learn more about Robertson and figure that he could go four innings, get the W uh, at 4K, I think that opens up quite a bit. But, um, you know, he's kind of on the, the borderline for me right now, uh, depending on how big I want to make my pool but so there we have it uh kind of a quicker look at a 10 game slate if you enjoy what it brings you please hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on and get that alert every time we drop videos here at DFS Army and if you want to join us I will put links in the description below you can use promo code RAZ that's R-A-Z for 10% off your monthly membership and as always best of luck everybody